And so negative thinking, what we all have to understand about thinking in general is that thinking is a learned behavior. Thinking is actually about the way we actually process information. In effect, what we think is thinking isn't really thinking. If you are not consciously of free will, dear one, of free will, choosing your thoughts, then you're not thinking. What you're doing is recycling patterns of thought that were imprinted in your subconscious mind when you were a little one, when you didn't know you knew nothing, or when you knew you knew nothing, and when you, when you were just absorbing the way the people in your experience spoke to you. For instance, if you grew up in a home where mom was very anxious and she was always complaining and she was always nitpicking and she was always like harassing your dad or she was just never happy and no matter what you did, it was never enough and all she did was complain, you know, that's all she did. You were taught to complain. You were taught a victim mentality. You were taught self pity thought patterns or patterns of self-pity. You were not taught how to face a challenge head on with the intent of, of being able to overcome the challenge and then feeling high self-regard because you were able to handle the challenge. Instead, dear one, you were taught that life sucked and that the world owed you something and that the only way to handle your emotions was to huff and puff about them. And so as an adult now, in your reality, you might not be aware that when it rains, when you get cut off by someone in traffic, when things just don't go your way generally, or when people don't agree with you, you may not realize that this victim consciousness that, that you absorbed as a child from mom you may not realize that that's really at the root of the way you perceive your reality today. It's really, really crucial for you to understand that thoughts, unless you are consciously choosing your thoughts, are not your thoughts. They're mom's thoughts. They're dad's thoughts. If you grew up in a home where your parents acted like the world owed you something or owed them something, and they would complain about their boss. And they weren't the type of people that actually put their best foot forward. If they were people who looked at the world as half empty, then you look at the world half, em half empty. When you're looking out in your environment, dear one, you don't have a grateful heart because you've been taught not to be grateful. And so it's really, really, really difficult, if not impossible, to be happy without feeling grateful, without feeling lucky, without feeling blessed. And codependence in general and adult children of alcoholics tend to expect others to make them happy. If I'm married to Tom and you know I just cleaned up the apartment or I just cleaned up the house and Tom comes home from work and he walks in and he's like, what's for dinner? And he doesn't realize that, you know, he doesn't validate for me how hard I worked over cleaning the apartment. When I don't get that validation from Tom, my victim mentality will kick in because that's what mom did. If mom didn't get validated by us or by, by dad, she would withdraw or she would complain or she would take her stress out on us. Negative thinking is a learned behavior and it's really important for you to understand that unless you're observing your thought patterns, you can't correct them. The purpose of this information today is to teach you how to learn to detach from your thoughts and observe them. And so what I want you to do is begin keeping a diary of all the negative thoughts that you have throughout the day. Look at them. See what they are every day. Find, try to find the pattern and then try to link to where you think that thought process actually got created. And then what you do as you move forward, you know, in the days and the weeks to come, you begin replacing the negative patterns with more positive thinking patterns. How do you want to think, dear one? How do you want to present yourself in life? How do you want to see the rain? How do you want to see other people? How do you want to see your life? Then what I want you to do is, is develop a meditation practice. YouTube is awesome. Just try mindful meditations just to relax the mind and to get the mind to, to relax the mental chatter. And so also what I want you to do is before you go to bed, I want you to take the thoughts that you want to take to bed with you. Because what happens is when you take 
deliberate thinking into your into your sleep. The brain doesn't have any conflicting data to butt up against the way these new thought patterns. So every night before I go to bed, I hug my pillow and I say, I love my bed. I'm so grateful for my pillow. My bed is awesome. My my pillow is awesome. I, I feel the bed beneath me and I, I'm just so thankful for it. I feel the warmth in my home and I'm thankful for it. I imagine myself being wrapped in love and light. I imagine my house being wrapped in this, this energy ball of love and light. I imagine each of my children being wrapped in love and light. I imagine their cars being wrapped in love and light. I imagine being protected and I imagine that, that I am so grateful and I go to sleep with an abundant heart, a heart full of gratefulness. And when I wake up, I wake up in the same vibration. I want you to begin taking responsibility for your emotional offering, which is your vibrational offering. So if people are nasty, nasty to you, love yourself anyway. Your kids don't acknowledge you, acknowledge yourself anyway. Bless them anyway. If watching the news ticks you off, don't watch it. As you bring more love into your body, more ability to love yourself, you get lighter. And then you begin to illuminate. And people want to know what's up with you. And they want to know what's different about you. And that opens up a door for you to start expressing what you've learned about loving the self and about taking responsibility for negative thinking. If you love this content, don't forget to check out the next video. And you can go to my website and take the codependency quiz.